everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So what do I have for you today? I have... Everybody want to take a deep breath with me before we do this all? Anyway, I have a Bath & Body Works haul, but not just the in-store haul because today was $5.95 select aromatherapy which means that did not include the sprays or the scrubs or any of the other kind of stuff it just included like the shower gels and the lotions and the body creams and stuff like that so i do have a 5.95 in-store purchase but then i also have i don't want to show the i have a online purchase which i forget i think it was i forget the sale that they were running so we're going to talk about aromatherapy and we're going to talk about the in uh the in-store purchase and the online purchase so this was okay the online purchase um I forget how much it was. So I had a a coupon, a $10 off a 30 coupon. $10 off a 30 and free, no, $10 off a 30. They were running free shipping at 50, but I didn't want to spend 50. So I did the $10 off a of 30 and they were running a sale, but I forget what the sale price was. So they each ended up coming out to $4.50. $4.50 a piece. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about aromatherapy. I went in there to get the shower wash in fire. So you guys know that fire and water were my two favorites. Um, they, and I had bought fire. Okay. I bought fire in the spray. I have it in the lotion. I bought it in the spray last time and I used a 20% off coupon. So I ended up spending like 10 50 on it instead of 50, whatever it was, 13 50. So remember I told you I was going to do like a price adjustment if they did a sale. Well, the spray was not included in the sale. And a lot of the elements, and I can't, you know, ugh, I cannot think of elements now without thinking of that song by Pop Smoke, which you should check out if you haven't heard it. But anyway, the elements uh, collection was pretty much ransacked. And the only shower gel that they had was water they did not have fire and the spray even though the spray wasn't on sale they had like none of the sprays left i think they only had one tester maybe in fire i don't know if it was a tester or an actual bottle but so they had water in the shower gel i know i'm all over the place they had water in the shower gel i smelled it i don't like it in the shower gel it smells like wasabi like literally it smells like wasabi i don't know what's up with that shower wash but I like it in the lotion. I do not like it in the shower uh, wash. So, um, yeah. So that left out the elements. So I went over to the new uh, oceany type fragrances that they have. And a lot of them smell the same. And it was funny because I was smelling a lotion. And this girl that always comes up to me, I don't know if she's looking for commission or what. She always asks if she can help me. So she saw me smelling the lotion and she's like, well, you know, if you want to know what the scent smells like, you could use the tester spray. And I'm like, uh, yeah, but I just sprayed my hands with hand sanitizer at the door. So now I smell like hand sanitizer. And not only that, when I didn't tell her this, the spray does not always smell like the lotion, which does not always smell like the shower gel. Anyway, I did not like the Seaside Mimosa. And so I ended up getting, I made one small purchase. I picked up 
relaxing seaside breeze. That's, that was the one I chose out of all of them. They all smelled kind of similar, except for the seaside mimosa, which like I said, I wasn't nuts about. Maybe it'll grow on me. I picked up, yep, yeah, relaxing seaside breeze, sandalwood and eucalyptus. Now I hesitated on getting on anything with eucalyptus in it because I already have eucalyptus and tea, which I've been using and it helps whether it's subconsciously or if it's actually doing it, I don't know, or there's psychosomatic, meaning it works because you think it works, I don't know. But to me, I feel less stressed with this. So I wanted some more stress relief. So relaxing seaside breeze. Sea minerals and aloe body cream. So let's see what this smells like. You can't really smell it in the store because they eyeball you. okay I definitely get the sand sandalwood more than I get the eucalyptus I don't know I'm not nuts about it Ow. I see the thing is I sprayed something on this hand and even though I washed my hands I can still smell it I don't know what it was Maybe it was that cedar wood one. I don't know. I'm not loving this one now. Well, let's see what it says it's supposed to do. Drift off to a state of peaceful bliss with this sandalwood and eucalyptus essential oil blend inspired by a soothing ocean breeze. All right. So we'll try it. We'll see if it works. I mean, like this one, the eucalyptus and tea, the scent, I'm not nuts about it. It's growing on me, though. I'm actually growing to like this one. I'm actually growing to like it. I, I really did not like it at the beginning, but this one, I feel like it's stress relieving. I really, really, uh, I really think this one works. Will the relaxing seaside breeze work? I don't know. This is the Ocean Essentials collection. The other one is the Elements. And then I got the, I figured why not, if I was going to get the Seaside Breeze in the um, lotion, I might as well have gotten it in the shower gel. This really doesn't smell like anything. I don't know. I'm looking more for stress relief and relaxation than I'm looking for a pleasant scent. So hopefully, yeah, this is body wash and foam bath. So I wish I knew what I sprayed on my other hand. I bet you that I like the cedar wood one better. And I can't remember which one that is. Anyway, let's move on to what I picked up in the um, online order, which I wish I could remember what the price was when I ordered it. It must have been five something and it dropped down to 450. Anyway, so what did I pick up? We'll see. Okay. So I picked up, you remember, I got the fine fragrance mist in this um, during the fine fragrance mist sale. So I had to complete the collection and get more Magnolia Charm, which is the online exclusive in the mature packaging, but it's a really amazing scent. So this is, of course, sealed. Um, let's see here. I could have gotten the lotion, but I wanted to get the body cream. I know I've been anti-body cream because it goes bad fast, but I really think that the body cream, even though it takes longer to, to rub into your skin, has more fragrance than the lotion. I like this. It's something so weird about it. It's such a weird floral. It's like a cross between, like I said, a really mature kind of like almost 
I know people hate when I say this old lady scent and just a nice floral it's it's just so different so um I said I was going to open these bottles before the video but I also said I was going to put on lipstick for the video and didn't do that either okay so let's see if it smells the same in the in the uh, shower gel So now the shower gel doesn't smell the same as the lotion, which doesn't smell the same as the spray. I think this, the spray smells the best. The lotion smells okay. It smells good. The shower gel smells good, but it definitely smells different than the other two. It definitely has more of like a fruity scent to it for some reason. So yes, Magnolia Charm. I definitely, if I pick up more, I would say... I would get more of the mist. I'm like, the lotion is not as good as the mist. Okay, then I picked up, you guys know I was super surprised last time when I picked up the shower gel in the Night Blooming Jasmine, which also has mature packaging. Um, but I, I really love the Night Blooming Jasmine. Let's see if I love the lotion as much as I love the shower gel. Give it a second here. You know what? I don't know if I like the lotion as much. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but the lotion, it might be too mature for me. I don't know if I like this lotion. That's strange. I loved, 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 loved the shower gel. And the lotion I'm not crazy about. I'm... Mm -mm. This is what I thought the shower gel was going to smell like. It kind of smells stinky. I'm not, I'm not liking the night blooming jasmine in the lotion. No. Mm-mm. I might have to exchange that. Then I picked up one that I didn't know if I was going to like it. This one I thought I was going to hate because I think I've smelled it when it was in the store before it became uh, a, a retired scent. So I just, last time they had a sale, it sold out. So this is Juniper Breeze. Oh, let me read you the notes. So Magnolia Charm is... Dewy Pear Blossom, Blooming Magnolia, and Fresh Cedar. Night Blooming Jasmine is Jasmine Flower, White Musk, and Apple Blossom. I really don't like that. How could it smell so good in the shower gel and smell so bad in the lotion? Anyway, so Juniper Breeze. I remember hating this scent. So let's see. And then I took one of the sales associates recommendations and I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out. Okay. So Juniper Breeze. I like the packaging. It's pretty. It's supposed to smell like juniper leaves, green apple, Blue Jasmine, Fresh Woods, Dewy Musk. Fingers crossed. Oh, it smells like a sweat sock. Oh, oh, that smells awful. It does. It smells like a an old gym shoe. And yet I keep smelling it. <sighs> now I remember why I didn't like this fragrance. And it's a good thing I did not get the spray or the lotion. Ooh. <sighs> Maybe it'll grow on me. 
Maybe it'll grow on me. Yikes. Okay. Now, the last scent was one that I was going to try again. But, so what happened was... Um, I was try. I was said the, the short version is I was having an issue using my coupon from my rewards, which I figured out how to use. But what happened was I, I forgot my password and then I got myself locked out. And then it, I called up and I said, can you unlock the, uh, the thing? Because I changed my password. I reset it. And she said, well, it won't unlock for like three days or it could be sooner. But then I was like, but then the sale will be over by the time my page unlocks. So she's like, well, I'll take the $10 off and I'll place the order for you. So uh, I pl I got those items that I showed you, those four items. And then I and she was like, oh, but the coupon is off of 30. You need to get another item. So I was like, hmm, what should I get? So she said, first she suggested hibiscus paradise. And I was like, I have it. It's okay. It's got a lot of coconut. So then she said, well, if you like Jasmine, why don't you try Mad About You? And I was like, all right, what should I get in it? She's like, you should get it in the cream. Okay, Bath and Body Works associate, Mad About You. She said it's one of her favorite scents that she raved about it. She said she loves it and all of that. Okay, Black Current. Bright Peony, Pink Jasmine, White Patchouli, Vanilla Musk. Watch, the only scent I like will be the one that I did not pick myself. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's got, um, it's like a, it's a cross between, it has like, it's floral, right? It's floral, like Hello Beautiful is floral, but that current, that, what is it, that, um, black current and the patchouli and the musk gives it like a dark kiss-esque. So it's like you, it, it's as if you mixed, mixed Hello Beautiful with Dark Kiss. Not bad. I'm, I may, and I like the packaging. It's pretty. Although I have seen the packaging a million times and passed it by because I said, that looks like it's for Mother's Day or, you know, mature scent. Not that all mothers are mature. I mean, not that all mothers have to be super young, but, um, yeah, this one I like the best. Out of all that I ordered, I like this one the best. So that one is good. The Night Blooming Jasmine, I'm so disappointed. Maybe it'll grow on me. Or not. Why does it smell so bad? Why does Night Blooming Jasmine in the cream smell so bad and the gel smell so good? Somebody tell me. It smells like a burnt tire. The Magnolia Charm in the cream. I don't love it. I don't love it. So I love it in the spray. I don't love it in the cream. And this, the Juniper Breeze, this smells like a foot. So I may just try to use it just to see if it smells as bad in the shower. But this is, this is pretty damn awful. So, yeah. And that's my Bath and Body Works haul. So, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.